Premier Boxing Champions has made its way to South Texas, the border city of Laredo, for a terrific night of boxing. As we join you from the gorgeous Laredo Energy Arena, which has hosted Little Wayne, Shakira, and Carlos Santana. Tonight, the PBC takes center stage and will no doubt provide plenty of entertainment. Hey, help us score the fights with the Thrown On Scoring app, the only boxing app where you can score fights live, predict the fights, and get the latest news and analysis. Download the Throwing Scoring On app at the Apple Store or at the Google Play Store. Now let's get set for our co-feature of the evening. It's being brought to you by Corona, who invites you to find your beach, Jorge Lara and Mario Briones. Sergio Mora, take us behind the numbers. Well, this is a fight that's going to be action-packed. I can guarantee that. Jorge Pilon Lara is a machine gun start fighter, all action-packed, born street fighter. And Briones says this is his last chance, can't afford to lose. It's going to be a great, great main event. Young, strong champions, made way properly. It's going to be on tonight, Ray. And now let's meet the fighters. We'll send it to our ring announcer here tonight. Here is Miguel Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Laredo Energy Arena from Laredo, Texas, live on FS1. This is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with 10 rounds in the featherweights division. The three judges ringside, Lucy Rogers, Ruben Carrion, Perry Hillen, and the referee in charge, Lee Rogers. Introducing first, out of the red corner, wearing black and silver, his professional record, 28 wins, 22 by way of knockout against five losses and two draws from Aguas Calientes, Mexico. Introducing Mario El Maca Briones. Across the ring, out of the blue corner, in the purple and gold, as a professional, 28 victories, no defeats, and two draws with 20 knockouts from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, presenting Jorge Pilon Lara. Mario. Jorge. Gentlemen, you got your instructions in the dressing room. We're looking for a tough, clean fight tonight. So best of luck to both of you, and let's touch them up. Ten rounds in the featherweight division. Ray Flores, Sergio Mora, Jordan Hardy here in Laredo. As Jorge Lara, who hasn't been in the ring for over a year, makes his way back inside the squared circle against Mario Briones. Lara is undefeated at 28 and 0 with two draws. 20 of those coming by way of knockout. We are underway and do not blink as Jorge Lara very quick and likes to dispose of his opponents as he did last April with Fernando Montiel knocking him down four times in route to a first round technical knockout victory, Sergio. That was a big puncher. He starts fast. He's 28 and 0, like you said, 20 knockouts. And he says he wants to start fast right now. Machine gun is his analogy he used. He just wants to come out blazing. And Jorge Lara actually now trains under the guidance of Alejandro Gonzalez Sr. He actually happens to be the father of the uh, late Alejandro Pobrita Gonzalez, who passed away in December. And starting off very strong is Jorge Lara. And Lara said, you know, he had a hand injury last year, and he was also robbed in his hometown of Guadalajara going to the ATM. He was shot in the leg, but he says everything, he's totally fine and glad to be back inside the ring. Heavy hands and a heavy heart. Sometimes uh, the heart is, uh, is sometimes better to take into the ring, you know. And a shot below the belt by Mario Briones. Wearing the purple and the gold is Lara. Wearing the black with the Mexican flag as his trim is Mario Briones. Briones, five years older than Jorge Lara. He is a 34-fight veteran. Coming in forward is Jorge Lara, and he comes upstairs with a right hook. That was that same right hook that dispatched of Montiel last April. Well, right now, he's trying to land those big shots right now. And uh, Briones, you know, he's a tough guy. Like you said, he's a veteran. Uh, he wants to get out of these early rounds. That's what he told us, and that's what I suggest, because he's, he's fighting a, a fighter that's very explosive early, a southpaw. And he has those explosive punches coming from the southpaw angle. Very dangerous. And for Jorge Lara, he is ranked in the top 10 in the WBC and also top 10 in the IBF in the featherweight division. So incidentally, he can actually fight a potentially Gary Russell down the line. Russell victorious tonight over Oscar Escandon or Lee Selby out of Wales. 
Good uppercut there by Lara. And Lara pouring it on in the early going. This is his fourth fight here in the United States. He is 3-0, and a lead straight left down the middle. And we're seeing that speed and that explosiveness out of the 26-year-old. I don't think Riona saw that right uppercut coming. Stunned him a little bit. He's touching his left eye as well. Sometimes you get thumbed in the eye or you get a, a certain part of the glove in your eye and it really bothers you. That eye swelling up pretty easily now. Mario Briones told us in the fighter meetings he wants to get into the fourth and fifth round and then he feels he can take out Lada in the later stages of the fight, but he has been unable to withstand the initial punishment by Lada with the only exception that he's remained upright. Another straight left down the middle. Well, he took some good punches in the first three minutes of this fight, and he's still in it. There's one down. And that concludes round number one. You're watching the PBC here on FS1. Welcome back to the PBC on FS1. We're at the Laredo Energy Arena in Laredo, Texas. And as you guys can see, Jorge Lara's corner. Now, you guys, he has been out of the ring for over a year now. And it's not by choice. You guys won't believe this. After a fight in April of last year, he was in his hometown of Guadalajara, Mexico. He made a trip to the ATM to get some cash out when suddenly a few men ran up on him to try to rob him. Now, Lara fought back, and these guys didn't know he was a professional boxer. And unfortunately, one of the men resulted to pulling out a gun and shooting Lara in the upper left leg. But Lara said he is fully recovered, and the power puncher is looking to continue his way to the top. Ray? Thank you very much, Jordan. Diving into detail in regards to that robbery, that attempted robbery, and thankfully, Lara is okay. He's looking very good, showing no ill effect from any potential ring rusher. And a right hook that wobbled. Briones and Briones with his back against the ropes. He is getting clubbed by straight left hands down the middle. And Briones says, come on, let's fight. Briones knew what to expect from this fight. He knows that he's fighting a guy that's really aggressive early in these first two, three rounds. He expects to weather the storm and make this fight a good fight in the middle rounds. If we can get into the third and fourth and fifth round, that's when Briones is going to show you what he has, he says. And also, don't forget to partake in the social media conversation. Use the hashtag PBC on FS1. Again, that is on social media, PBC on FS1. Jorge Lara here doing a very good job as the man known as El Pilon is dominating so far Mario Briones, who is a veteran, and Briones has been in there uh, with some, you know, tough level fighters. I mean, he went ahead and, and went the distance with, you know, Miguel Flores back on January 12th of 2016. So, you know, he's fought some prospects, even though he is one and two with fighting undefeated fighters. He's a good fighter, and this is this is a big stage for him. If he can have a, a, a concrete knockout here, something special on television, I mean, this is what makes coming out parties for guys like these. 80 seconds remaining, round two. This is the PBC on FS1, Jorge Lara and Mario Briones, and Briones continues to smack. Good body shot there by Briones. Lara continues to find his way, smacking Briones with that straight left. What can... Briones do, Sergio, to get out of the way of that straight left. Look, I think he's doing a good job so far. We expected him to get hit, even though he just got hit with a left hand there. He expected to get hit. He needs to oh, And a straight shot. left that puts Briones on the deck. Mario Briones is feeling the power of that man, Jorge Lara. Briones expected to get hit and hurt, but I don't think he expected to get dropped in the second round like that. Let's see if he survives this. Can Jorge Lara close the show? Another straight left right down the middle, catching the chin of Briones. Jorge Lara looking to make a statement to prove to the featherweight division that he is back and looking for a world title. Lara's putting everything behind that left, straight left hand of his, and, he's, and it was a right hook that actually hurt Briones, but he's trying to put, put Briones away with the left hand there. I think he should concentrate and go back to the body. Remain calm, go back to the body. That right hook would open up again. We are seeing calculated aggression by Jorge Lara, who is in total control against Mario Briones in a right hook. That puts Briones down on the canvas, and the referee Lee Rogers will count 
as his glove raised the canvas. And saved by the bell. You are watching the PBC on FS1, round three on the way. And in that fight, Lana said he looked up to Montiel growing up, and it was an honor to fight him, but he had to go ahead and handle his business. And Lana very confident in himself. He only has seven amateur bouts to his credit, but felt that his style was better suited for the pros, and we're seeing evidence of that here in this fight. He has two heavy hands, and they come from all angles. He throws, look, see that sneaky right uppercut right there? That's what actually caught Briones' attention earlier before getting hit with the straight left hands and the right hooks. He's a good fighter, Pilones. Good body shot there by Briones. I think that's his best chance right there. He needs to surprise Lara with a counter to the body because he's expecting headshots. Everyone is he expects the headshots. You take it down to the gut, and you can start slowing down. There we saw a double right hook to the body, to the left side of the rib cage of Mario Briones, and he was wincing after getting tagged. And what a three right hand! And now Lara is looking to finish off Mario Briones in assault, and Lee Rogers will step in and wave it off. And Jorge Lara looks impressive. Well is a star-making performance by Lara on television. Everything worked out well for him. That's fireworks right there. Let me send out a vocal memo to the rest of the featherweight division. That is one dynamic power puncher is Jorge Lara. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 58 seconds into round number three for your winner by TKO Jorge Pilo. He elevates his record to 29 wins, no losses, two draws, and will continue in his ascension up the featherweight rankings. We'll come back with more. You are watching the PBC here on FS1 from Laredo, Texas.